Hey guys, Tony Skill IT here, and today I'm gonna be showing. I'm just gonna be uh, quickly explaining how the basic three logic gates that this game has works. So, big shout out to Jep031 on Reddit asking for how logic works and if I should sponsor his channel. He says sure, and then I sponsor his channel. So, huge shout out to Jep. Zero three one. So subscribe to him on YouTube for giving me the idea. And this is just a quick explanation of how these logic gates work. So I'm gonna be uh, showing you how they work, and I'm gonna be experimenting kind of how they work. I still I'm not good with these, but I'm still gonna explain. Okay. So starting off with the AND gate. The AND gate is, uh, one second, the AND gate will give an output if all connections are on. Wait, does that? Ooh. Ooh, neat. Okay. So AND gates give connections if all inputs is active, or all connected or active. And let me just pull this down here for a second. Okay. So the OR gate right here, this little one. This one will give an output if any connected or active. This XOR gate will give an output if only one input is active. So if you have a sensor that's connected to this and you have if one of the inputs is connected like Q. So if you have if so if you held Q while the sensor is active, then nothing's going to happen. So let me just put that back. Okay. So now I'm going to be showing you kind of how all these work. So I was just giving you a simple definition of how they work. So let me just delete these two and move on to here. So we're going to go down to seats and then get an armored seat. And what's for here? Okay. So this is the, the AND gate right here. I'll put if all input is on zero. So it will give an input if all the connected are on so let's just experiment with that so we're gonna have a sensor right here that is going to be a 24 meter distance output scale is on one and i'm gonna have this so it's gonna be constantly detecting this block even though i could have it differently and then this sensor will be connected into this and gate and then i will have a trigger on this and gate so whenever I press space, it's going to give an output to whatever I have connected. So let me go get a, I'll use a noise maker, I guess it would be better to see. So I'm going to have this noise maker and I'm going to have the mad science block. Whoop! oops, one second, I did something. Okay, better. Okay, much better. Okay, so now I'm just gonna have these set up and then I'm gonna set the pitch down to low. And then I'm gonna have this AND gate connected to here and here. Make sure this is connected. Okay, so now. Okay, everything's connected good. It's good. Okay, just short bolt checking. So now, even though that the sensor is active, the sensor is going into the AND gate. And as you can see on the AND gate on the left um, hand side, it's um, it shows the green arrow, so that means that it's active. And then when I press space, you see as the right arrow goes off, and then that arrow you can um, see as it going active. And when I press space, that kind of activates. And then if I get rid of this block right here, so then the uh, sensor has nothing to connect to. What? Oops, okay. Um, yeah, just a minor disclaimer. You might have to get rid of the controls on these. I'm a little bit not prepped. Okay, so now when I press space, as you can tell, the green arrow on the left. You see? That lights up, but it's not... But the other arrow isn't lighting up, so that... um. So, not all the inputs are active. It says the sensor is technically an input. It is not active, so that it will not give the uh, second input to the AND gate, so the full um, output doesn't go on. 
So, here I could just get rid of this. I'm going to keep the distance sensor. So, I'm going to go over two blocks, and then I'm going to go quickly grab the ore gate. I'm going to place that here. Okay, so now for the ore gate, you don't really need to do too much, so I'm just going to have one on here connected to both of the horns. And then I'm going to have this other ore gate that's going to be right here connected to two. That's going to be, and then this two is going to be connected to the one. And then with this one, and then, or with the two being connected to the one, this is already active. So, here. So when I press one, as you can tell, when I press one, the left, or the left or gate on the left hand side lights up. And when I press two, the, um, the or gate on the right hand side and on the left hand side both light up. Because when I'm pressing 2, I'm activating the right one, and the right one is activating the left one, which goes to the horn and stuff. So, and, uh, or the Mad Science block and the horn. So, you could easily use this for tank steering, which I will make a tutorial on. Okay. So, now going to the X or gate, where we are going to get this distance sensor. And I'm going to connect this into here. And then we're going to bring back that one by 2. Oh, there we go. Okay, so is this connected? Perfect. And then I'm just gonna set this to space and make sure everything's connected. Oh. Okay. So you should see when I spawn this in, right there, it's already active. I'm not pressing anything. If I had a keyboard cam, I'm sure I'm not pressing anything. But when I press space, as you could tell, the um the arrow on the right goes dark. So the or gate, or the or gate is like the complete opposite of this, and then the XOR gate is the complete uh, opposite of that. So X or gate is just a, um, I guess if you have the X, it's the complete opposite. So when I press space, that turns off. So, I mean, I guess that's just a quick tutorial of explaining how the XOR gate, um, and or gates and gates and stuff like that work so if you did find this useful please subscribe so i could beat my friend to what is it like 300 subscribers and so that'd be amazing like if you like the content and if you have any suggestions for any videos that i could do please comment them down in the description this has been tony skull it with a quick tutorial thank you guys for watching and peace